Hi, this is Ken Morrow. In this video, I'd like to show how to implement the uh, HTTP REST client using iOS uh, Swift UI. Li library that I'm using is called Alarm Fire, which is one of the most popular ones and very quick and simple. So let's get started. For the HTTP server, I created the mock server using the Fast API very quick. Uh, all the code uh, is in the GitHub, which is description below. So you can go there and just copy and paste to, to set the server and proceed as follows. So here I use the ng-log to actually map our local URL, local host URL to the public uh, HTTPS URL. So it's easier for, for us to create the HTTP client in the mobile app. So here I'm simply a little bit checking the usability of the, this API server uh, by the fast API using using the postman i have a two endpoint one is to list up the user which is get get request and another is a post request called add user so in here i uh, for the post request i set id name class uh, to post and so that it will update the list and uh, fetch the updated list as usual i create an empty project here I name it as the simple REST project. Now inside of the project, I, I make the three uh, folders, model, view, view model as a usual, and I will keep everything in the very minimum. So in the in the model folder, I create a user class and view model, uh, user view model class and view user list class. In the user, in the use, a model user, uh, user and make it a codable and included three uh, properties user ID name group also user repository also codable which holds the user as a list so next in the user view model I need to uh, import alarm fire which is only dependency that I have in here so I open the edit as package swift swift package and add alarm fire that's it once the project recognize alarm fire I will start adding the class, the class is a view model which uh, inherit the observable object. As a published object, I created a repositories which is a user repositories, and right here I just uh, in it the uh, in it as empty user is. So in function, I I call the get user function. Get user function, I actually call the URL. This URL is the map from localhost to the public a public HTTPS uh, uh, URL by the ng-rock. So once I add the gutlet for if to tell this string is actually URL available or not, and around five requests uh, method is a get in this case that just calling the get user function. And as a callback, response JSON, response is, is as JSON, and uh, here is making sure the status code is now 404 or anything like that, you can add it here. And if the data, response to data it exists, uh, do, uh, do some do catch, which is the decode JSON, JSON decoder, decode this uh, result as the user repository class. If it if it's good, I will just update the user repository. If it's not, I put some error, uh, something like that. So self the repository, I will update self to uh, repository as this uh, decoded result. After that, uh, I write another function called add user, which takes the three properties and call the post request to the API to add the net new user in the list. So once API gets this, uh, receive this post request, add user as, as requested and also update the user list and just return the user list. So here I'm doing the same and pro uh, parameter is basically the request body and header I'm telling the API or my body is the JSON. So content type application JSON as a header and around fire method as a pause here and parameter and encoding here and also the header included. Uh, in 
at the same time, uh, re response JSON callback uh, again the same uh, status call checking and uh, data if it exists or not. If it exists, I will JSON decode the the result from the API as the user repository class. Uh, if it's good, uh, I update the safe repository. If it's not, I print error. That's it for implementation of the user view model here. So now I'm gonna create a user uh, user list uh, screen as a view and use the user view model to show the user list. I create a state uh, state object here as it's actually the view model. I in initialize the user view, view model here and inside of the body uh, which is a view, I created a scroll view scroll view vertically scrollable and inside simply I do the v stack with for each in the uh, view model dot repository dot users and so each user will show the result and content view of course is a list as a main screen once you build the project if it's successful you will see the user is shown as a list in, in your mobile app. So now I'm gonna add the button as a feature to add the user when the user tap the button. So simply I'm if the button is clicked I call the uh, view model dot add user now uh, user ID name uh, group is all hard coded here but you can take it from anywhere you want. Now I'm making the button looks a little bit nicer uh, with a white label and a black capsule, capsule shape uh, background, background button. So once it's done, it's basically uh, 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 at the end I'm just adding the geometry reader to tell the size from the content view. But pretty much that's it. Uh, once you build the application, you'll see the user list and also the, you see the button to add to, to call the API to add a user. This is, I'm slightly modifying the UI to look slightly nicer. So like this, uh, in the application home screen, you will see the user list, and if you add user, uh, you will see the new user added and update user list is updated. So to wrap up, I use the fast API Python backend and use the Alarm Fire for the iOS. So in this channel, I'm making this kind of prototyping using web, iOS, Swift, and Android Jet Jetpack Compose. So if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and also don't forget to like this video. And see you in the next video. See you, see you and enjoy prototyping. Bye bye.